Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 147 rolling our way through April. Uh, we're recording this as always for those people that aren't able to be with us right here right now. We have a really short meeting ahead of us, I expect, because we're just going to do triage and then we're going to jet out of here. Um, busy times and I got a sick kid on the couch, so I'm going to go run back to that. So without further ado, Bob, ready for triage? Go ahead. All right. Look at this, nice and four. And this feels, no, these are all new, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I know I didn't log in. All right, which version? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this one's a little weird. Um, application supports silent from the command line. It implements argument switches. However, when passing a single argument, questions, zero arguments are delivered to the bootstrap application. I expect they're swallowed by the burn engine. That's correct. That's possible, okay. Well, the, all the all the standard switches are processed by burn and then removed from the command line. But are the, the other things. ones? Do we ignore everything else once we hit help? I don't. Right, know. that's the potential here. Yeah. Also, detection of related. Uh, is this a separate bug issue, or? I don't know. In this case, is weird. Detect related bundle event is fired, but have only the version. Pop other properties have default values. I don't see how they're would be related, but... I don't either. The argument is delivered to the app, and detection of related works. Okay, yeah, yeah. The I'm not, I'm not sure why you would try to actually install if they put help on the command line. Yes. Right. Also true. Although detection would still happen. If you call detect, it will happen. Well, yeah. Um, I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'll say write a sentence about, you know, standard command line switches and then ask for logs to see if that, you know, does something. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it gets, uh, yeah, Jacob, it doesn't eat all of them. It eats the ones it knows about and then gives you the other ones. Right. So, like, dash H turns into an action. Right. Probably. All of the the variations on dash H turn into actions. And you know, slash Q turns into, you know, the command display and, yeah. and cetera, I don't and I could see the action being set to help internally and thus when you do if you try to do an install with, command line. with the act default action, then you might like, hey, do an install with help and be like, No, but detect should still work, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This is weird. Um, and and yeah. this is like kooky because, yeah, nobody. Who does this? But, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll write a sentence and ask for logs. Yep. Yep. Jacob agrees with you. Okay. Wix removes symbolic link to pack cache when uninstalling an upgrade. Well, yeah. I thought we're intentionally removing a symlink, but... We're not going to um, check this. Yeah, there's a way of changing it. Oh, yeah. Is it really the only places on that blog? Yeah, we probably should put that on our documentation. I couldn't... Yeah, I couldn't find any... No, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, well, we have the web. We have the web, which, you know, technically is... The documentation. Yeah, we probably should have a simple page that says, if you want to move the package cache, here's how you do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the answer. Not not symbolic linking. Um, it's in the code. <laughs> Jacob's right. Unfortunately, that is the way a lot of the answers go. Sysa folder does not resolve custom action. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is the um, the standard. Why do I have to provide the standard folders in the Windows installer in Wix? And the answer is well, because you could control your source tree, um, even though nobody does that. Um, <laughs> And well, separately, the the problem is we create references. Yes. If you, so, if you use system folder, for example, as you know a custom action target or you know a directory ref kind of thing, then we create references to it, and yes. we don't have the magic references for. And so, the like I said, folder. in Wix four, this is something I hope we can do. So go ahead and give this to me in Wix four. Um, okay. I would like the the linker to basically give you a standard answer for all standard um, directory trees mm -hmm. for you. It gets, where where I saw it, 
even more interesting, although there's always been this case, where you're like, yeah, I just want to use this, um, is when you do inline directory syntax. And if you use inline directory syntax and you have like program files folder, you have to turn around and go create a directory tree with only program files folder in it, because the rest of the directory tree will be populated for you. Right. You need to define, and that's like, oh, it'd be really nice if we just solved this for you. So that's how I hit to the same thing. Um, is that? And then he added another bug where it should not be possible to inject wrong locations in the Wix source directory hierarchy, which is incorrect because you can put your system folders anywhere in your directory tree, and it will line up in your source tree as you would expect it to, which nobody does anymore. And he compresses now. Eh, whatever. Um, the difference between CD and uh, internet distribution. I'm um, sorry, CD? It, well, yeah, I mean, it, so when it was floppy drives, which when it was designed. I'm sorry, was, floppy? It was, it what? was cab spanning. Then you could, when software used to fit on a CD, it was faster to not compress it because, you know, CPUs weren't as powerful back then. So right. getting everything to fit on a CD, expect it. Please insert disk 14. Yeah, the Windows installer supports. Please insert disk 14. Um, and then uh, so you could lay out your CD without cabs and then so much software that doesn't fit on CD anymore and game over. So. Anyway, and now we have internet distribution, which means most people try to go single file, even though that's not an efficient way of storing stuff to install it. So that, that, and that, and that. So anyway, that could go in WIS4 and see if we can add the feature. Um, summary information code page not set via WIS localization element. I've never tried to change the summary information localization because I just leave all the defaults in there. Yeah, for the for the... For summary info, it's, I mean, there are a couple of things that are interesting, but you don't need to, in general, you don't need localized text. Um, the yeah. the package, package element lets you set a lot of those attributes, most of which shouldn't be set. You yeah. know, they have values that are defined. Um, which are the defaults yeah. from the Windows installer that are like, just use these. Right, right. And it doesn't say you can't. Uh, usually, it's, some RFC style language would be really useful. Um, you know, must, should. Mm -hmm. um, technically, I get you know, there's like one spot where you could, you know, include a product name, and if you're going to localize that, maybe. But yeah, generally, don't don't do that. It's not worth it. Yeah. Anyway, so I don't really know what the answer is to this. Uh, Localizing the code, the summary code page. I mean, I don't really want to add yet another attribute to the Wixel file to localize it. I guess we could localize it the same as the MSI. Maybe that's what the answer is. It's localize it the same as the MSI by default. So we'll give the summary code page the yes. same. Is there code any page. code page that doesn't include the ASCII characters? I really don't want to go down that rabbit hole. I'm just, I'm just thinking because. Because I yeah. think because all of the standard words that the Windows installer says to put in the summary information stream is um, ASCII characters. Yeah, yeah, that's so, interesting. So if we could just use the code page of the MSI, that means there's no code page you could select that would prevent the standard stuff from showing up wrong. That would prevent I, that would make the standard stuff show up wrong. I really want to say that that the standard that all the Windows code pages have ASCII in the yeah. yeah, at the bottom of 127. Yeah, 27, 127, 128. Not yeah. counting, not counting zero. zero. Right. Zero is zero. Eight. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, well, I don't... So do we We could take this in four. How about we put this in four as a let's set the summary information stream to the same as the product? Yeah, I think it's worth a shot. I don't think any other control is really worth it. Honestly, yeah. my my goal, my my dream is to get rid of the package element. Still toying with that idea. Yeah, we can get really close. To make the I did, I did look a, more like the bundle. Yeah, I did the whip long ago that you know says, look, these things can go away and yep. these things could be moved easily. And then I want to change product to package, and then we'll be done. Um, anyway, <laughs> bum bum bum. Um, cool. I think we're done.
done with that. Other things Jacob and Sean want to bring up? I know Jacob's already mentioned that they want to continue pushing on that burn issue they were hunting a long time ago. Um, and I know Sean has a pull request out there that I need to get around to looking at. Um, otherwise, we have the you know usual fellows. Oh, no, we have another person that's hanging out with us. I don't know if they have a question or they're just hanging out, um, either of which is good. Uh, Jacob's typing. So... Um, yeah, we're <laughs> the year is flying by. Can't believe it's almost the end of April. <laughs> it still feels like it's I don't know January. Except the weather's nicer, so I don't really know. No, I still have a little pocket of snow on the ground. So ah, there you go, a little pocket of snow. that's not even all right. Snow in the in the shady part of the house that never gets any sunlight. Yeah, that but that's not even like snow. That's, it's not real. It doesn't count, but. Oh, Brian, you're welcome to jump in. Just jump on Wix devs and start asking questions and pick up things. And um, mostly persistence, I think, is the, the tricky thing because we do have, unfortunately, have a bad habit sometimes of going a little bit too dark. But if you keep up, stay interested, uh, we will definitely help you get into something that you find interesting and start solving problems. All right, Jacob's writing. Oh, there we go. Four feet fall in the last two weeks. Wow. Yeah, I guess snow in the end context was yeah. Wow. That's um that's horrible. <laughs> that's horrible. All right. Uh uh since we're just talking about the weather now, I think we're good for the good for the now, good for the here and now. Um We'll be back in a couple of weeks. Uh, still, I know a lot of things to talk about. Just brain is full and lots of stuff running around, and we will have more news in the not-too-distant future. Right now, though, I think we're going to call today a done. Uh, I don't know if we've heard anything from Sean, so we'll just say hi to Sean as he says goodbye to Verbeel. So two weeks from now. Later, peoples. Bye. Bye.